One animal that is plentiful is the meerkat. And at the Reed Park Zoo, there are several new additions to the meerkat family. Jed Dodds has that in today's zoo for you. We've got some new members to our meerkat mob here at Reed Park Zoo, and to help introduce them to us is Julia, our zookeeper. Julia, this is pretty exciting. We've got some new meerkats. Uh, who do we have? We got three new girls in from the Louisville Zoo, and you can actually see them on exhibit right now with our two previous males that we had. Now, it didn't start that way, so when they first came in, uh, where were they? When they first came in, they were in quarantine up at our health center. It's standard protocol when we get new animals in, and then very slowly we had to introduce them to the males. Now that slow process, walk us through that a little bit. How do we introduce uh, meerkats together? What's that process you guys go through? So we did a lot of research on how to best introduce them because typically meerkats can be a little aggressive. So we started first by just trading off smells, some smelly things from the girls to the boys, smelly things from the boys to the girls, and that way they could kind of know that there's meerkats in the area and then eventually when they were ready we brought them up here uh, to their habitat and we let them kind of see and smell each other but not be in together and putting them all together with meerkats um, can be a little tricky and you did see a little aggression and kind of movement of dominance which is normal uh, but how did that work so typically when meerkats are introduced together, they kind of have to reestablish their dominance hierarchy. So our females were being a little aggressive towards each other, the males towards each other, the females towards the males. It was a little bit of a mess there, but they're getting along slowly but surely. And for the most part, they're doing really well together. And most people don't realize that meerkats are in a whole different category because a lot of people come and they think that they're prairie dogs. Um, very different. So what, where, where do meerkats lie in this whole spectrum? So meerkats are actually most most closely related to mongooses. So they're kind of their own special thing and they're really special types of mongooses because they dig so often. So now that the meerkats are doing really well together, that's something that you're gonna see a lot of. They're gonna be digging all day long and a lot of times you'll see one, maybe two of the meerkats kind of standing up on their hind quarters and looking around as a sentry, kind of looking out for any danger. Well, this is a lot of fun and they look amazing and they're all hanging out together doing the meerkat stuff. So thank you and good job on introducing. And if you'd like any more information on meerkats, or anything else here at the Reed Park Zoo, you can always go to our website at reedparkzoo.org and check it out there. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm Jed Dodd.